Now we can implement our chosen solution and solve the rest of this problem. So the first question asked us to find the time for the coldest point in our tube to heat up to 99% of the total possible temperature increase. So I just want to talk about what this coldest point is. So if we imagine our tube and we have water around it and this water is heating up our tube, it only makes sense that the furthest point from the surface of our tube is the coldest point. So this occurs at a radius of r equals 0. So to solve the problem we find our temperature parameter, we find our m, we find our n, and we go to our flow chart and or we go to our Heisler chart and we find that this gives us a value of alpha t over r squared of 3.2. And using this value of 3.2, we can solve for the time um, to find that our time to, for the coldest point to heat up to 99% is 522 seconds. Next, we're asked to do pretty much the same thing, except with a very large heat transfer coefficient. So what it means by that is that h, or heat transfer coefficient, is pretty much going to infinity. And when that goes to infinity, our value for m goes to zero, and our value for n stays the same. Our temperature parameter is constant. So we could take our, our three variables, and using our Heisler chart, we now find a value for alpha t over r squared as 0.88. And again, we can solve for T and find that the temperature it takes to, uh, for the coldest point to reach 99% of the total possible temperature increase is 144 seconds, which is significantly less than what it took previously. And if we think about it, this makes sense because our, our heat transfer coefficient is increased, allowing for a greater heat transfer to occur between the water and the two. The third question asks us to find the time but now with a reduced diameter. So we're changing our diameter um, by decreasing it by 25 percent and we pretty much are going to just use our relationship that the time is proportional to r squared or our size of our tube and we can use this relationship to find that the time it takes um, for this reduced uh, size is 80.9 seconds, which is less than what we calculated previously. And if we think about it, this makes sense again because now our tube is smaller, meaning that it's easier um, or it'll take less time for it to heat up. The last question asks us if the initial temperature and the water bath temperature change, do our answers change to questions 1 and 2? And the answer to this is no, because our temperature parameter value um, remains constant. So our temperature parameter is always going to be 0 0.01, regardless of the initial temperature and our outside water bath temperature.